not going to take pictures of you. And go ahead. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to lube this Rhino rifle up in 308. First step is to open, drop the magazine. Bolt, bolt carrier out, charging handle, pull the second pin to get the upper and lower apart. Being a match gun, it's a little tight. Now with the four tips, we use the large surface area allows us to get into the fire control group, clean the hammer, get all the way down with the power to fire link hides in the bottom of the lower receiver, get the hammer, and decock the hammer, allows you to get back on the trigger hooks and the resets, which normally very difficult to get to and you always wind up pulling a whole bunch of lint out after you're done cleaning it if you're not using the right tool like gun tips. Now you can also get under the bolt hold open very easily. Lower it wipe down and move to the upper. It's being a 308 we're going to use the 12 gauge and allow us to clean and wipe down the inside of the bolt raceway. Get a little bit into the barrel extension and the feed ramps. This tool works a lot better to get in on the feed ramps and the individual locking lugs. And in and around on the chamber area. Now, as far as where the charging handle raceway goes, again, this fits perfectly. We'll go underneath the gas tube, which is always a tough to reach place. The locking lug recess, and again, cleans that raceway out in a minimum amount of time compared to trying to use something inferior like a Q-tip or a cotton swab. Then we get into cleaning into the ejector area, going with a 6 inch. This allows you to get into the fine areas. It's flexible so you can push it and it will curl and get into the opposite end of the ejection port area as well as cleaning individually between the lugs. Alright, with the upper done, tear into the bolt, bolt carrier, and with that, Wipe off excess. And then this allows you to get all the way through the firing pin channel and all the way in. And you can see how clearly that does that. I'm going to take the extractor out. Again, that six inch glides in, gets all the way up to the firing pin tip, gets everything out in one clean fell swoop allows that area to be completely clean and about half the time it would take you normally clean the other side of the extractor let me get that sucker back in there now to get back into the main bolt body, the bolt carrier, again go back to the wide area panel, that will get into the key area underneath the gas key, and again the 6 inch goes right in and cleans out 
the gas key, which has always been a bugger. Then we can use another large area paddle. This gets into all the way back to the back where the gas key and the firing pin comes through. And you can see, pulls a whole bunch of stuff out of there. Back in where the firing pin channel is, the firing pin lock. Again, quick. Just going to save you a whole lot of time. Gets to all the areas it needs to get cleaned quickly and no lint. You don't see any fuzzballs in there at all. Much more efficient way to clean an AR platform, whether it be 556 or 308. Reassembly. Drop back in. Realign. Firing pin. This one's a little trickier. And firing pin retaining pin. Bolt back in place. Take the upper. This our charging handle started. Bolt, bolt carry locked in place. And then we made it back with upper and lower.